Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Cassidu. In this installment in the Algebra series, I will discuss Algebraic Techniques, Part 3, Adding and Subtracting Algebraic Fractions. Algebraic fractions have variables in the numerator or in the denominator, or both. 3x squared over 2z, 3 over p squared, 3q over 5, which is the same as 3 over 5 times q, and w are all algebraic fractions. The last because any variable or number, w in this case, can be written as an improper fraction with denominator 1. Any two algebraic fractions a over b and c over d are equal to each other if a times d is equal to b times c, provided that neither b nor d is equal to 0. As with numerical fractions, like algebraic fractions have the same denominators and unlike algebraic fractions have different denominators. To add like algebraic fractions, add their numerators and place the sum over the common denominator. For example, 5 over x plus 3 over x is equal to 5 plus 3 over x, which simplifies to 8 over x. 2xy over wz plus 3ab over wz is equal to 2xy plus 3ab all over wz. As a last example, let's add three algebraic fractions. The process is the same for any number of add-ins. 6x over 5z plus 7x over 5z plus 2x over 5z is equal to 6x plus 7x plus 2x all over 5z. Since all three of the add-ins are like terms, they can be combined to get 15x in the numerator over 5z. The numerator and denominator can be divided by 5, giving us 3x over z. To subtract like algebraic fractions, subtract their numerators and place the difference over the common denominator. 5 over x minus 3 over x is equal to 5 minus 3 over x, or 2 over x. 6x over 5z minus 7x over 5z plus 2x over 5z is equal to 6x minus 7x plus 2x all over 5z. We can rearrange the order of the terms in the numerator as long as each term keeps the sign that it had originally, to get 6x plus 2x minus 7x all over 5z, which simplifies to 8x minus 7x over 5z, or x over 5z. To add unlike algebraic fractions, first find the least common multiple LCM of the denominators. Rewrite each fraction as an equivalent fraction in terms of the least common denominator, LCD, and then combine the now like algebraic fractions as we did earlier. If we have c to the 4th over 9b plus 3 over 5a, the LCM is 45ab. c to the 4th over 9b lacks a factor of 5a. Multiplying top and bottom by that factor, c to the 4th over 9b becomes 5ac to the 4th over 45ab. The denominator of 3 over 5a lacks the factor 9b. Multiplying both numerator and denominator by that factor, 3 over 5a becomes 27b over 45ab. See combining fractions in the Fractions Anacast series for a review of how to find LCM and LCD of fractions. Adding the numerators of the two like fractions, we get 5ac to the 4th plus 27b all over 45ab. If we have x over 12yz subtracted from 2x squared over 3y cubed and then add 1 over 2z squared, the LCM is 12y cubed z squared. 2x squared over 3y cubed lacks a factor of 4z squared. After multiplying, its numerator becomes 8x squared z squared. x over 12yz lacks a factor of y squared z. After multiplying, we have x y squared z in the numerator. 1 over 2z squared lacks a factor of 6y cubed. And after multiplying, we have 6y cubed in the numerator. Combining, we have 8x squared z squared minus x y squared z plus 6y cubed all over 12y cubed z squared. Generally, any two algebraic fractions can be added using this formula. If b equals 1, we can use this instead, or this if d equals 1. Any two algebraic fractions can be subtracted using this formula. If b equals 1, we can use this, or this if d equals 1. The formulas will work for any two algebraic fractions provided that b and d are not equal to zero, but the results will usually have to be reduced to lowest terms. Let's do the last example using the formulas. Subtracting x over 12yz from 2x squared over 3y cubed, 
using the first of the subtraction formulas, we cross multiply the terms, expand, factor out the common 3xy term, then cancel. If we then want to add 1 over 2z squared to that last result, we can apply the first of the addition formulas. Cross multiply the terms, expand, then factor out a common 2z from all three terms in the numerator, and end up with the same result that we got in the addition and subtraction example using the LCD method.